Hey guys, welcome back to the penetration testing bootcamp and we're finally winding up with our uh, fundamental terminology stage of this uh, of this course or this bootcamp. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the, uh, penetration testing methodologies, uh, the various ones that are available. But the whole objective of this video is to explain to you why a methodology is important, uh, regardless of what you're using it for. They're using uh, one for penetration testing vulnerability analysis, or even landing a plane. So I'll get to that in a second. That might, may seem a bit confusing, but what is a pen testing methodology? So a pen testing methodology is a comprehensive methodical approach uh, or a system that is used in pen testing, of course, to identify vulnerabilities and weaknesses in the overall security posture of an organization. Now, let me just talk about a methodology uh, in abstraction for a second. So if we take a normal standard definition of methodology and what you're supposed to get after using a methodology is you're supposed to get outcomes, right? So when talking about the goal of using a methodology, we're going to have outcomes. So the outcomes of a pen testing methodology is to identify weaknesses, flaws, vulnerabilities in the security posture of an organization. Now, methodologies can be comprehensive, they can be vague, they can be very basic, and you can use methodologies for, for doing anything. So there's a methodology for making a cup of tea. Uh, there's a methodology for landing an aircraft. Now, that might also ask you or may, might raise the question in your mind, and that question is going to be, why are they important, right, when, when doing anything really? Uh, and of course, the answer to that is that they ensure that you have consistent outcomes. Now, that may seem a bit uh, far reaching, but let's take the, the example of the of landing an aircraft, for example. When landing an aircraft, you have something called the landing checklist. Now, that in all essence cannot be considered a methodology, but it really is. And that's because it is quite uh, it's a checklist. So it's very systematic and methodical and it's used by uh, by aircraft pilots or by pilots to actually ensure that everything is set up for a successful landing. Now, if they don't follow that, they risk losing or missing one, uh, you know, a, a particular uh, sequence that is extremely vital. The, the point I'm trying to make here is that when you're using methodology and one that is extremely comprehensive, uh, you're ensuring that you have a clear methodical and systematic approach to testing that ensures that tests are going to be reliable, accurate, and consistent across the board. So what am I talking about? So let's say you have, you, you create a pen testing methodology. It can be simple. It can be uh, extremely in-depth. And you give two penetration testers that same methodology. What that methodology ensures is that the outcomes uh, are going to be the same across the board. So if you give them these methodologies and you give them the same organization with the same infrastructure, you don't change a, sim a single thing, you don't change the scenario, if they use that methodology, the outcomes should be the same. All right. So again, if you're talking about the example of the aircraft pilot, uh, if all of them follow the methodology for landing a particular aircraft, then in most cases, if they do follow them correctly, they land the plane successfully. So that takes us to another key aspect of any methodology is that the pen testing methodologies need to be extremely comprehensive and accurate. And this, of course, is used to ensure that any penetration tests or security tests are performed successfully or to the best that they can be performed. You know, they can give you the most accurate results that you're looking for, because if you have a very vague and a very poorly written uh, or poorly set up methodology, it may leave out you know, important aspects of this, uh, the overall security posture of, a, of an organization that an attacker might actually catch up to. And because they were ignored or not actually covered, you know, that is an actual failure in the pen test. So uh, there's a there's a quick saying that uh, I, I personally believe in that is a penetration test is only as comprehensive as the methodology that was used. And that is why in many of my CTF videos or any of my pen testing videos, I actually really recommend creating your own methodology for these types of scenarios. So, you know, having a CTF methodology for Linux boxes, Windows boxes. And if you follow that, you actually come to the conclusion that, you know, your, your outcomes are going to be the same. And of course, you can improve upon it by adding additional stages to ensure that uh, you, you're not really performing anything redundant, but you're very, very uh, methodical and you're, uh, you're extremely comprehensive in your test. 
So when talking about pen testing methodologies, we have both proprietary and open source. I'm going to be focusing on only op the open source methodologies. Uh, proprietary methodologies, you know, you have some from IBM and some other companies that are, you know, also very good and they're used to test, you know, organizations and the overall security posture, the threats they face, identify any vulnerabilities. But let's talk about the open source pen testing methodologies that I want you guys to focus on right now, if you are a beginner, that is. So we have the OSS TMM. So that is the Open Source Security Testing Methodology Manual. And then you have your OASP Testing Methodology, uh, which is, of course, uh, created by the Open Web Application Security Project. So OSS TMM is specifically targeted at testing various aspects of the security posture of a company. So physical security, wireless security, and I'll get to that in a second. Uh, and then we have your OASP, which is used to test uh, web applications, you know, and it does this by defining the topmost vulnerabilities that affect web applications in a particular year. And it also covers how they can be remediated, so on and so forth. So uh, I want you guys to perform research on this and I'll be giving you guys my pen testing methodologies as we'll be covering vulnerable boxes. I'll give you my CTF methodologies so you can use them and you'll actually see how helpful they are because they allow you to document what you're doing. They allow you to actually go through it method, uh, you know, in a methodical way or a methodical manner so you don't miss any stage and uh, you get you know extremely accurate and comprehensive results when you're doing them so let's uh, let me open up the oss uh, tmm uh, right over here so i'll post a link to where you can actually download this so again this is the open source security testing methodology manual and uh, may, another question that might be coming into your mind right now is how do we actually ensure that this manual is comprehensive how uh, how is the quality of this manual, uh, you know, how is it maintained and how can you trust it? And of course, that is done through peer review because this is actually quite extensive and it gives you, you know, a bit of information right over here. So if you take a look at the introduction, it gives you a bit of introduction into that. So it provides your methodology for a thorough uh, security test herein referred to as the OSS TMM audit. So it's an accurate uh, measurement of security at an operational level that is uh, void of assumptions and anecdotal evidence. That's very important. So again, the methodology is designed to be consistent and repeatable. That comes to the earlier point. If you have two penetration or uh, if you have 10 penetration testers and you give them this manual and the very same uh, organization uh, and you don't change anything, they should come with the same results or they, they should have the same results at the end of performing their test if they follow this method, uh, if they follow this, uh, uh, this pen testing methodology. All right, so uh, it gives you information as um, yeah, regarding it being an open source project. And again, you can contribute to it and you can go ahead and look at all the, the discussions going on regarding its future. All right, so uh, if you take a look at the, the actual stages here, it gives you what you need to know. And then of course, if you open that up, it talks about uh, the various controls, uh, the limitations and then compliance etc then what you need to do defining a scope rules of engagement as i said uh, and of course uh, you have the trifecta uh, error handling disclosure very important stuff then you have security analysis uh, you then have operational security metrics very very important we'll not be covering that in this course but very very important you then have trust analysis uh, you have what the workflow uh, human security testing, so primarily de dealing with uh, social engineering to a certain extent, uh, physical security uh, testing, uh, you then have wireless security testing, uh, so on and so forth, you then have compliance and you, you, you get it. So you can actually go through this yourself and uh, let me know what you guys think. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video. We'll be using various methodologies as we move along. Uh, but now that we've taken care of the foundations of pen testing, we have a good understanding of what we're doing now. We can actually get started with the various phases of pen testing uh, with live examples and uh, i hope you guys are excited about that so that's going to be it for this video and i'll be seeing you in the next video